Guys, the girl Yamoshi is about to arrive on planet Earth to help Vegeta and Android number 18, and Vegeta will make a promise to defeat Hercules, the evil Saiyan. Will he be able to do it? Well, let's see that now. But first, leave your like. We'll hit 3,000 likes as soon as this goal is reached. I'll bring the next episode in the sequence, and of course, subscribe to the channel. Well, that said, let's get started. In the seventh universe, Currently in the seventh universe, more precisely in one of the large cities on planet Earth, it was possible to see that a large part of the city was destroyed and the cause of all that destruction was Hercules, who had arrived in the city to absorb the energy of the living beings that lived there, so that he could recover his own energy. However, his plan had been a little frustrated by Vegeta, who had arrived at the scene and the Saiyan Prince was very angry since Trunks was in the city and had tried to face Hercules with Android and Deg-18, but unfortunately both ended up losing the fight against the evil Saiyan who beat up Trunks, which made Vegeta angry and made him go to the city precisely to face Hercules. Yamoshi's eldest son, the Prince of the Saiyans, was very angry that his son had been defeated and that pleased Hercules because just by looking, the evil Saiyan knew that Vegeta was stronger than Trunks and Android Nig-18, and that left his Saiyan blood excited for a good fight. Android Indig 18 said, Thanks for your help, Vegeta. This guy would probably have drained all my energy if you hadn't arrived in time. I would have lost my life. Spoke Android Dig 18, thanking the Prince of Saiyans for saving her life moments ago. Vegeta said, Don't confuse things, woman. I came here to see my son's situation, and I was irritated to see what this worm did to Trunks, so I attacked him. Whether you live or die, it doesn't matter, but I can't let Hercules absorb your energy and become stronger, because if Hercules could, he would become more dangerous like Kakarot said. Said Vegeta with his back to Android Nig-18 while looking in the direction of Hercules who was in the middle of the wreckage of a building. Android Nig-18 thought, I'm not very surprised to hear these words from Vegeta. After all, he and I are not friends or anything similar. In the best case scenario, we are allies and nothing more. But I have to agree with Vegeta. If I saw my daughter hurt, I would be very angry. And from what I remember, anger is an excellent ally for Saiyans as strong emotions increase their powers even for a few moments. Android Nig-18 thought to herself as she looked at Vegeta's back and saw that he was very angry. He just wasn't showing it much. Hercules spoke. Finally, I was imagining that only that Son Goku guy was strong enough to make me excited to fight, but you also seem to be strong, and by your hair, you must also be a Scion. If I'm not mistaken, it must be the one they call Vegeta, the so-called Prince of the Scions. I hope your majesty doesn't mind my manners because I'm not someone who will kneel down for you," said Hercules as he got up and left the wreckage of the building that he had previously been thrown by Vegeta. Vegeta said, you should have gone to another planet to recharge your energy, but you had the unfortunate idea of coming to this city, and you had an even worse idea of hurting my son, and that's why you won't leave this city with life," said Vegeta before raising his energy, causing some golden rays to surround his body, along with a dark blue aura. Hercules said, Let's see if you are strong enough to carry out this threat, Prince of the Scions," said Hercules before raising his energy, making black rays surround his body, along with his dark red aura. Vegeta said, Hey 18, you can still stand, right? Vegeta asked, looking sideways at the blonde android. Android Indy 18 spoke, This monster drained a lot of my energy, but I can still stand and fight if necessary, said Android Indig 18 as she approached Vegeta to help him, but the Saiyan raised his hand, preventing the android from getting closer to him. Vegeta said, I don't need your help to deal with an insolent worm like this, Hercules. Since you can fight, you should also be able to take my son and go to the Capsule Corporation. I recommend that you send your husband to the Capsule Corporation too together with your daughter. There they will be safe enough," said Vegeta before lowering his arm and returning to face Hercules, who was stretching for that battle while his energy gradually increased. Android Nig-18 got angry upon hearing what Vegeta had said, and when she was about to say something, the Scion looked at the android in a serious and cold way at the same time. Vegeta said, don't get me wrong, but this is a battle between Scions and you are not strong enough to be at least useful in a fight against this worm, because he is millions of times stronger than you, and if Hercules really wants to finish you, he will, so do yourself a favor and get out of here and take Trunks with you. Vegeta said in a serious and authoritative manner to Android 18, who sighed and obeyed the Prince of Scions, taking Trunks and flying out of the place quickly. Hercules said, 
Have you finished talking to the hot blonde or do you want to take your loser son home? Hercules asked in a mocking tone to the son of the Cyan Prince who was irritated by Hercules' comment. Vegeta sighed and then advanced towards Hercules who did the same thing as Vegeta. Hercules, when approaching Vegeta, had to dodge a punch from the Saiyan Prince. Vegeta saw that his first blow ended up missing its target. The Saiyan performed a kick from above and aimed at Hercules' shoulder, but the evil Saiyan ended up holding Vegeta's leg and twisted it, causing the Saiyan to be in pain but Vegeta ended up concentrating. His aura on his legs, increasing the resistance of one of them and with the other, he ended up kicking Hercules in the face who didn't feel as much pain as Vegeta was imagining. Hercules said, These simple tricks won't affect me, said Hercules before turning his body and throwing Vegeta towards the ground. Vegeta managed to turn his body in the air and ended up balancing himself, landing on the ground in a way that was not so sudden, but sudden enough to leave some marks on the asphalt. Vegeta, when looking again at Hercules, saw that the evil Saiyan had one of his hands slowed down and several key spheres around him, and with an evil smile, Hercules lowered his arm, making all those key spheres go towards Vegeta, who, upon seeing the key spheres approaching, he began to fly and dodge all those attacks that destroyed everything they touched, generating several explosions throughout the city. Vegeta, while dodging all those key attacks, he ended up being cornered by several key spheres and seeing this, Vegeta ended up activating his Ultra Ego, generating a wave of energy that made all the key spheres around him explode, generating a curtain of dust and smoke. From that curtain of dust and smoke, Vegeta came out at high speed, advancing towards Hercules, hitting him with a well-aimed punch that made the evil Saiyan give a big smile, but even with that punch, Hercules managed to react and performed a blow from top to bottom, hitting a knee to Vegeta's chin that sent the Saiyan flying towards the sky, but even with that blow, Vegeta gathered a large amount of energy in his hands and shot at Hercules, making the evil Saiyan hit the ground, where he ended up generating a huge crater because of Vegeta's blow. Hercules managed to quickly recover from that blow and stood up with an even bigger smile on his face and increased his power even further by taking on his evil Super Saiyan God form, which caused a huge tremor to happen in the city, which ended up having its buildings and structures destroyed with that earthquake generated by the elevation of the power of Hercules. Hercules, who was more excited than before, disappeared and suddenly reappeared in front of Vegeta, punching the Scion Prince in the stomach, who spat out some saliva. Vegeta, who was more irritated, managed to get away from Hercules and then advanced towards him and the two began hand-to-hand -hand combat that was generating large impact waves that caused everything around to be destroyed by the impact waves generated. Hercules was managing to master that exchange of blows with Vegeta, where the Saiyan Prince ended up receiving several blows in the process. At a certain point, Vegeta managed to make Hercules have an opening in his defense and tried to punch him, but Hercules held Vegeta's fist and before he could think of anything, Vegeta felt something pierce his abdomen and when he looked down, he saw that Hercules had created a blade of evil key and with that pierced the abdomen of the Saiyan Prince who ended up spitting blood. Hercules said, Apparently you're not as strong as I imagined, Prince of Saiyans, said Hercules in an arrogant manner as he removed the key blade from Vegeta's abdomen. Then Hercules hit Vegeta with a very strong punch that made the Saiyan Prince hit the ground, generating a trail of destruction. When Hercules saw Vegeta on the ground, the evil Saiyan raised his hand and created a gigantic sphere of evil key and threw it towards Vegeta, but the key sphere ended up being cut into millions of pieces, and when Hercules realized it, his mother had excavated in hands in front of Vegeta, protecting him from that attack. Vegeta said, I thought you would leave me facing this guy for longer. Vegeta said as he stood up with some pain throughout his body, especially in his injured abdomen. Yamoshi said, I'm sorry for the delay. I was recovering my energy so I could face my son Hercules with full strength. Since you're here, you're going to help me, aren't you? Yamoshi asked Vegeta, who was now standing next to her. Vegeta said, Your bastard son hurt mine, so obviously I'm going to fight him, and now that Excalibur is here, it will be easier to send Hercules to meet his father, said Vegeta to Yamoshi, who just nodded in agreement with the Prince of Saiyans. With that, we will end today's video. If you want to see the continuation of this incredible story, leave a lot of likes on the video and comment, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, so see you another day, guys.